Hey guys, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. I am Mama. Um, so today I'm not feeling great. I'm feeling actually a little bit heartbroken and um, I'm just working through some sad sadness regarding a heartbreak and sort of a betrayal situation. Um, but not really all at the same time. It's a little complicated, um, but it's taught me a lot about myself. Um, so today we're gonna do these Oracle cards just cause I'm in the mood and I'm not really in the mood to being on, in, interested in being on camera right now. Um, so um, we're gonna do these Journey of Love Oracle cards and see sort of where we are on our journey. Um, I think maybe we'll do past, present, and future today, um, just because it's always nice to see where we've been, where we're going, or where we are, and where we're going. So that's my intention. I'm just shuffling these cool cards. They're really pretty. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm just gonna cut the deck. Let's see if this is the best way to do it. Okay, I'm gonna pull this card. She loves. That's our first card. Our second card, so that's for the past. She loves. The present. Heart of God. And then the future. Eruption of light. That looks kind of fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So let's just talk about each one for a minute. Let's see. So she loves. So yes, it's true for me at least. Is it true for you? Do you have past loves that have maybe moved on or broken your heart a little bit? And then moving into the present moment, sort of praying <laughs> for getting through a certain emotion, a feeling of sadness, a feeling of sort of jealousy, betrayal, um, dishonesty, um, misunderstandings, you know, that type of thing. And when you experience that, you're really like almost like in a prayerful mode, like your heart is toward God, right? Which is what we're talking about here, the present. So in the past, yes, there was love. In the present, it's sort of disrupted. Look at there's darkness all around. It's red, it's fiery, it's like fiery, which is sort of the way it feels at the moment. And then looking forward in the future, I like this. This is almost even like a ascension, which means like a ladder almost, like heavenly, but also a pathway, a journey, and sort of reflecting on the cycle of life the circle of life, sort of the onion peel that we go through as we heal patterns in our lives that have been happening and going on for a long time. And the opportunity for lightness and brightness and clarity ahead, which is exciting. And so that's the reading for today, guys. I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, I am looking forward to that journey because I just was here and I'm now here and I'm looking forward to being here in this eruption of light with the number 11, one of my favorite, favorite numbers. I see it pretty much every day, 11, 11. Anyways, guys, let me know. Have you ever had heartache? Let me know. I'm interested. I want to know what you think. 
how it feels, what your thoughts are. It always is teaching us something. There's always something to learn and it's an opportunity to break a pattern and start to observe patterns and things that aren't good for us and aren't offering the best for us. They're not, they're not um, there for our highest good. So I think I had like my little angel protectors protecting me from something that wasn't good and healthy for me. And so it was a little bit of a redirect, but still hurts nevertheless. But you know, I'm get, I have a new job now, guys. I haven't told you. Um, I am um, adding to my jobs and I'm going to be a matchmaker. A matchmaker is someone who <clears throat> pairs people up for dating. And so I'm going to, my specialty is going to be working with um, single parents. So maybe parents, like divorced parents and parents who are just starting the dating scene again. And um, I'm going to be supporting them and helping them through sort of the ups and the downs and um, and setting them up on dates. So I'll be doing some coaching, some love, relationship, um, dating, coaching, um, along with matchmaking. So you guys might hear me talk more and more about love and relationships and dating and, um, and things like that. I might start having more of those discussions. So just a little heads up. But um, anyways, guys, I see you, I hear you, I'm here for you, and I love you. Subscribe, comment, share, like. See you tomorrow. Bye.